thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, do you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high, they tickled the nether regions of heaven. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony, and the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Salve a tutti ragazzi e bentornati sul mio canale, io sono Grace, proseguiamo la nostra avventura con il gioco di Call of Duty, Ghoul Singer, va oh, bene. Allora, innanzitutto vediamo un po' da che parte dobbiamo andare, esattamente di là. Che armi abbiamo? Nessuna, perché adesso non me ne fa ancora sfoderare. Ok. Avanziamo. L'invitazione devo dire che sono veramente belle ragazzi per il tipo di grafica che ha questo gioco. Right from the beginning eh, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. Personalmente sono i duelli eh, a due. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. Sono i duelli perché sinceramente mi sono un po' sul piripacchio. Allora, vediamo anche una di qua. Allora, allora, tra la la. C'è qualche collezionale. Ah, c'è un passaggio anche di qua, ragazzi. Ok, bene, un po' di bel, bel po' di cose utili, devo dire le pompazza no andiamo silenziosi come dei tacchini I saw them before they saw me. Okay. Ancora fa prendere. Ok, allora torniamo di qua, prendiamo un po' di munizioni ancora, va bene, andiamo là. It was rugged country. The winter home of the Cherokees, and that's why they had retreated there. Let's go to the capoccia. 
Hätte ich vorher noch gesagt. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those. Bene ragazzi, questo è Maruto così. Ma di danza. Did you find Grey Wolf? Not at that moment, but I did find the entrance to their hideout. Deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Look how many went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. Okay, prima di entrare qui, ragazzi, vado a dare un'occhiata nella stradina precedente. Avrebbe fatto fuori uscire. Ok, ho guardato l'altra strada ma non c'era niente da raccattare ragazzi, quindi proseguiamo verso la retta via cascata, molto bella. Allora, quella lì è la strada principale, mi dà l'idea di un trappolone qua. Cerca lupo grigio nelle caverne. Ok. Una è moruto. E l'altra è moruto. See back then. I had a stubborn streak a mile wide, and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit as they had torches on the walls. segreto ok il segreto preso due di quattro avremo lasciato indietro un bordello dunque noi siamo passati stiamo passando di lì vediamo un po' di qua se c'è qualcos'altro da raccattare no quindi la strada era giusta quella là qua ci andiamo a fare del male Adesso torniamo indietro I'll be 
big was this cave? Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hid out there during the Indian Wars. They thought it was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? Quante munizioni ha questo caricatore? How come you know so much about engines? A few years back, I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Polygyny is traditional among the Mescalero. So what happened? Oh, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. I haven't seen them since. No, I mean, what happened with Grey Wolf? Oh, well. I pursued him into the cave of death. I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows. And I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart. And if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. As his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again and kill many more men and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior or something. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverines. They couldn't stop me, though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. <laughs> I 
swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly, one just appeared. Kinda like a miracle. Allora, qua ho visto delle munizioni e anche dall'altra parte. Sali su. Non c'è niente da raccattare, no. I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith, but no way in hell I was turning back. <clears throat> I chased after him, determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Okay. <clears throat> Mumbo Jumbo is right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but there was a lot of them. At least three or four? Well, more than that, little lady. <clears throat> I had a steep climb up creek ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. Wouldn't you know it? That crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches around him. A hundred? God be my witness. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not gonna drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. And in the end, a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. Mm. 
I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Grandi ragazzi, 85.000 punti, precisione 77, nemici uccisi 94 colpo alla testa, è il premio ricorrente, le pietre trovate 4 di 4, vediamo un po' se abbiamo qualche punticino abilità da andare a inserire, due punticini abilità, ok, ho aggiunto allora ragazzi questo, cacciatore di teste e nessuno può nascondersi, va bene, ci siamo e vediamo un po', se riusciamo almeno a completare il ranger prima della fine del gioco. Amici, io direi che il nostro episodio termina qui, spero che la nostra avventura vi stia piacendo, in tutto caso se non siete iscritti al canale iscrivetevi, se vi siete filmato lasciate un bel like, vi ringrazio per avermi iscritto, ci vediamo con il prossimo gameplay, un saluto a tutti da Grace Gamer 78.